Well, and here's another issue, and it, it's kind of a big elephant in the room, but I'm, I don't want you having any other children at this point. So my concern letting her out on bond is that she's going to go get pregnant again. Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and I have a clip for you from Judge Raquel West at the 252nd District Court in Texas. She is hearing a motion for bond reduction for a horrific, horrific case of neglect and malnourishment. This woman neglected her child. He was four years old. She neglected him to the point that he only weighed 19 pounds when he died. She's got way too many kids. She can't take care of them. She doesn't have the mental capacity probably to take care of these kids and the result is a horrific death of a precious little child i'll let you guys be the judge okay now are you tina lewis yes ma'am and miss lewis um, is charged in each of her cases with injury to a child first degree felonies mr matuska has filed an application seeking re of habeas corpus, seeking a bail reduction. Uh, the bonds, are they the same in each case, 750 in each case, 750,000? Yeah, I think that's right. Um, and so uh, I do know, Ms., uh, for the record, Ms. Lewis's cases are set for trial in April uh, and that we have been um, really by the request, I think, of the state putting her case after uh, co-defendant Jalen Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, uh, who is set for trial in February. And we've had to move that back, and therefore we've moved Ms. Lewis's case back. Is that accurate? Uh, yes, sir. I have to try the cases separately. I would prefer to try Mr. Jalen Lewis's case first. So my real preference would be to try other cases. That's not up to me. That's okay. <laughs> right. Uh, and I don't know, has anybody even talked about that? Have you talked about that with any of the other defense attorneys? I don't anticipate no. that that would be something that they would all agree to. But um, so what's your position with regard to a bond in reduction in these cases, Ms. Lesniak? Um, I'm not necessarily opposed to a reduction. I am concerned, Ms. Uh, Ms. Lewis, Ms. my understanding was like outside of Jefferson County has some ties to Louisiana, has some ties in uh, Harris County. So well, let's get some. Okay, perfect. So, Mr. Matusko, if you want to put on some testimony just with regard to those types of things that would give me, a, uh, I guess, some direction if I reduce the bond as far as conditions and things like that. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, you want to call uh, Deborah Eugene? Deborah mm -hmm. Eugene? A wheelchair also. Okay. <laughs> Can y'all have a slide that table? Uh, or if it's wider, I don't know where it's easier to get it through. Hey, uh, George, they've slid the uh, council table over here over. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Never mind, y'all can move that one back and we'll move the other one over. They're going to, George is opening this door so they can. Thanks, y'all. Mm -hmm. Is that what you thought? Uh, the order has 2023. You've got to change the, the dates. <laughs> and Miss Lewis, if you'll just kind of slide around to this side and over a little closer to Mr. Matuska. Perfect. Right there's fine. Thank you, ma'am. Good. How are you, ma'am? Uh, would you do me a favor, please, and raise your right hand the best you can? Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this trial will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you, ma'am. And go ahead, Mr. Machisco. Good afternoon, ma'am. Would you state your name for the court? My name is Deborah Lewis, and I'm from Eugene. And Ms. Eugene, what is your relation to Dean Lewis? And where do you reside? Huh? Where do you reside? Where I live. Where do you live? I live. I was in um, the long research. I used to. Where do you live right now? I live in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, um, what, what's the apartment number? What's the apartment number? The apartment number is two, 20 oh, one. 
So two zero zero one. All right, go ahead. Okay, that's fine. Now that's okay. That's okay. Yes, ma'am. In regards to Tina, she's your daughter, and you guys have significant ties to each other, correct? Yeah. And to the community, there's other people in the family and other people in the community you have ties to. Um, if you're here today because we're asking the judge to reduce the bonds, and if Tina were to be released on bond, would you be able uh, to help her comply uh, any of these conditions and in comply with any conditions that the judge may impose? Yes. Okay. Now, you're here obviously in support of Tina. Would you ask no, no, just right. listen to Mr. Right. Matuski, yeah. Okay. Uh, but this case has some very horrific conditions and facts, mm -hmm. and that you're here in support of Tina. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and this uh, this would have been your, your grandson. That's my grandson. That's right. Um, who else in the family um, would be able to help you with Tina? My husband. It, if she were to have a condition such as an ankle monitor or anything GPS wise, would you be able to help her with that? I know. And just quickly, uh, I'd like to just go over. You have made attempts to make any kind of bond in this case under the current bond, correct? Yeah. And you've been unsuccessful at doing that. Correct? I was trying to get in touch with them. I got in touch with them, but they said they couldn't even do it with the bonds. And Your Honor, uh, could court take judicial notice of the uh, Court appointment counsel based upon the affidavit of innocence. Yes, sir. Yes. I will. Um, at this point, you're testifying that you think the bond is excessively high. Yes, it's too high. And you're asking the court to consider a more reasonable bond. Yeah, because I'm sick and I knew that's my daughter. Yeah. And I told daughter. And she used to help me. Who all lives with you, Miss Eugene? I have. He and What's your husband's name? Mark Eugene. What's the first name? Mark. Mark. Eugene. Okay. And who else? Yeah, my baby did it. My baby got shot. She helped me with my baby got shot in the baby. So Tina used to get care my baby. What's, how old is your, who's that? My baby is 40, about 42 years old. Okay. And that's Miss uh, Lewis's brother? Yeah. Okay. Who else? Okay. Are there any children ever at that apartment? Yeah, I got my little grandbaby. So how old's your grandbaby? Grandbaby three years old. And does that grandbaby live there? Yeah, he he, he, he does. Yeah. Who takes care of him? Me and his mom. So does his mom also live yeah, there? Mom okay, I need to know who else living there. Asia. Asia. Yeah. And Asia. that again. Asia. Asia. And I got my little grandma. Okay. And so you are they twins? No. All right. So different So the first one is girl or a boy? It's a boy at first. And he's three years old? Three years old. That's our grandchild. That's whose grandchild? Tina's grandchild. Okay. So Asia, who's who is what's his name? Tina, what's his name? What? Detroit. Detroit. D-E-T-R-O-Y. Okay, and he's three years old. His mother is? Asia. And Asia is your daughter? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then there's another baby? You said there were two babies. So you... So, whose child is she? It's Asia. So, Asia has two child children. Two children. How old is the baby girl? Uh, What's her name? Her name is Kaylani. Okay, so we've got how big is this apartment? It's a three bedroom. Okay. So, if Tina was allowed to make bond, there would be room for her to stay there. Yes. Got some issues with the, the children, yeah. obviously. Okay, well, then we'll get to that. All right. Um, go ahead, Mr. Matuska. 
Uh, your office was. Yeah, Ms. Eugene, how many other children under 18 does Tina have? Tina has 12 kids. I think 11 kids she has. Okay. And are all of them under 18? Some are 18. I don't know, all of them. They, they old. I'm just wondering, are they going to be coming to the to the house, to the apartment? No, but they're not living here. Some of them live here. Some live here down the road in in the in the Okay, okay. Some of them live. They grown. They got their own kids. Okay. How is Asaya or Asaya Asila Asila Asila? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Anything else of this witness? Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, that's all we need from you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, um, you don't have no problems. Okay. I want to know some more information uh, without getting involved, obviously, in the facts of the case from Ms. Lewis. Okay. So, Ms. Lewis, yeah, you can go back around. Raise your right hand best you can. Do you swear or affirm everything? Uh, the testimony you give in this hearing will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you back. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, um, you have 11 surviving children, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What is the age of the oldest child? 27. So Ashila is the oldest. Mm -hmm. And then what is the age of the youngest? The youngest is seven. Okay. Do any of your children other than Ashila, am I saying it right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But live here locally? No, the oldest one is here. All of them. Mm -hmm. She is the only child that lives. The only child I have. Okay. Ms. Leslie, any other questions with regard to? Uh, no, no questions. All right. Um, any other testimony, Mr. Matuska? Okay. So, I mean, I'm sure my concern is the same, obviously, as Ms. Lesniak's with um, Kalani in Detroit living there at the house. Um, so, not sure. I don't want to. If you make a bond, I don't want. Obviously, I don't want to shy and her children to be homeless. But there's not going to be any unsuper. I mean, I'm. What's your thoughts? That would. My thoughts were she could have no unsupervised contact with the kids, and also due to the nature of the case, I would. I don't want her to have any kind of caretaking responsibility at all for these. I agree. For these children. Um, I, I just. I just don't know that that's not going to be hard. For yeah, a hard rule to follow. Uh, in the nature, I do want to remind the court that the indictments are for omission cases where she was not here. I thought that is a big difference, but she was not directly involved at the time in the allegations of the indictments. I mean, well, as to direct contact, I mean. It, no, it, it's not in the, it's not a, she's committing physical abuse, but the, the directives in the case that she's giving the caretakers are. Well, and here's another them. issue, and it, it's kind of a big elephant in the room. But I'm, I don't want you having any other children at this point. So my concern letting her out on bond is that she's going to go get pregnant again, and then we're, I mean, it just it's going to complicate everything if that happens. And there's no reason, based on history, to think that that's not going to happen again. Well, Your Honor, I only mentioned what I mentioned earlier because of the alleged level of culpability here with the other co-defendants. And the reason we're in this situation is because the state is elected to try something. No, no, I understand. I understand all of that. But I also understand that there's there are children as young as seven years old that are not being cared for or weren't being cared for by her, including the youngest one at the time of his death that weren't being cared for by her. And so I think... I can't speak to the possibilities that we're talking about. I know. I don't know how to. I don't know if I can order something like that person. I mean, no, I can't. Would it help if. Is there another person? 
I just want to see what happens. It's in Texas. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I want more information about alternatives. Um, and, and I'm not going to say that you can't go over and help your mom, your brother, things like that. I, I just feel like I need some more information on what other alternatives there are. And I probably need to do um, some a little bit of research on what I can and can't order with regard to uh, how far I could go on ordering you not to conceive a child while you're on bond. So I gotta figure that out. I'm not sure what limitations, if any, there are, so what I can do um, to do that. So I'm going to reset the case. Uh, we'll just reset it a couple of weeks and I'll do some research on my end with regard to what I want primarily one of the big ones that I want covered and then see if there's any other alternatives. Um, Mr. Matuska, as far as where everybody can be, um, my goal ideally would be not to be around each other and obviously, but um, Sure. Obviously not unsupervised um, around any, no caretaking, nothing like that, period. So I'm not sure how to do that with her still in the house. It'd be awfully hard if you got a baby crying with a dirty diaper for her not to pick up and try to do something and honestly don't want her to do that. So let's figure out what else we can do. All right, can go back with Bayla. And I wrote on this order. We need to print it out. Just... So some of the facts that I read about that, that they didn't discuss today in this hearing is that she took her all of her children that weren't out on their own she took them to her 21 year old daughter's house and left them there and then she took the money from either welfare or child support and she kept that money for herself and lived off of it the kids then were struggling all of them including this 21 year old daughter. And she mentioned to her mother that this little boy is very thin and he's, he's not growing and he's tiny. And um, the mother said to just feed him milk, just give him milk. That's all she said. And that's one of the reasons why she doesn't want her having any more kids is because she kept the money for herself, for all the kids that she had. And that was her racket. She had kids to make money. And that's what she did. She starved the kids and she kept the money. There's also a man that's charged in this case. And I I don't know if he's the daughter's boyfriend or if he is this woman's boyfriend and that he was also one that was living off of money that was supposed to be going to the kids. I'm not really sure who he was or how he's involved, but um, that's why they were talking about other co-defendants. So there's two. There's the daughter and this this man, and they were all charged with this little boy's murder. And I'll keep an eye on this one. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.